everyone, Crystal here. So just a few updates. Um, we will be leaving in about three weeks from now, maybe a little less. We'll see. But this Friday, we actually sign our lease for our new spot. Now, I know that I told many of you that we were going to Portland, and we were going to Portland, and we had a spot picked out. We had a reservation this whole time, and... It took a really long time to get that reservation because finding a long-term spot in Portland is very difficult. Um, I spent probably like a solid two weeks trying to find that spot and when I finally landed it, I made sure that we had it and that it wasn't going to go away. Well, what ended up happening is the campground actually called me and they had some major issues go on with the campground. And so half of the campground is actually no longer in use because they have to have major construction happening. And so that is going to take about six to eight months, they said. So the spot that we had reserved, no longer reserved. So we don't get that spot anymore. And that took so long just to get that spot. So after doing some research, and calling around a lot of the other places that I had called around last year, like months ago, and finding out once again all the spots are full. Um, I try not to get too frustrated about it. You know, the school that I want to go to was in Portland, um, but I ended up doing some research and lo and behold, there is a school in Seattle that has everything that I need. And actually, the entire program costs about $8,000 less than it does in Portland. And so $8,000, I mean, really isn't that much compared to like $50,000, $60,000, but it's enough to kind of sway me to want to go to Seattle over Portland to save that much money. With interest continuing to add up over that, I mean, it probably won't make much of a difference, but I mean, that, that's kind of a cool thing. So I ended up calling around a ton of places in Seattle and I noticed that there was a major difference in prices between Portland and Seattle. Seattle is a lot more expensive. Um, Portland was a bit more, Portland I feel like we were able to afford a little bit more. I mean, it wasn't a major difference I mean a, a good $200 difference but $200 is a lot when you're on a budget so um, we ended up finding a campground near Seattle that was a really good price and we just went through all of the background and the credit check and all of that stuff and just got approved and so they'll be sending our lease this Friday and so we'll be signing that and we'll be heading up there and we will be there by March 1st. And so I'm really, really excited slash nervous now because my proctorship that I have I have to find a whole new one in Seattle and I, I have to get this done in March. Like I start my proctorship in March. So honestly, I'm not sure what I'm going to do because the school that I'm attending right now um, doesn't really have any contacts on uh, the West Coast or any area over here at all. Um, you know, I go to a Midwest school. So I am going to have to rush to try to find someone to help me out. Um, if if any of you guys know of anyone who is available to proctor that's in the Seattle area, that would be amazing. But um, anyways, very excited. Very, very excited. The kids are really excited. They're ready to move again. I don't think that they fully understand that once we get there, we're not really moving again for a while. We'll still be traveling here and there, but not moving the RV. So uh, they haven't wrapped their heads around that all the way, but we're really, really excited. Another really cool thing about going to Seattle is that the job options there for my husband are way, way more vast than they are in Portland. Um, and they seem to pay more in Seattle than they do Portland. And so that's also a really awesome thing. And I've also looked into jobs of, for me when I get there, and there seems to be like a, a ton of opportunities for me to get a job while I'm there too. I did decide though that we will 
that I will not be working while I'm doing my proctorship and going to school because I feel like that's too much for me to handle. Um, doing homeschool, having a proctorship, and going to school myself is, is already a lot. And so having a job on top of that might be a little bit too much for me. And I just, I don't want to push myself right now. So I'm going to hold off on getting a job. And so uh, it will be kind of on my husband's head to provide for us financially. So he's already looking for jobs before we go up there, which is cool. And uh, hopefully he'll land something that will be amazing. So we'll see, but anyways, just wanted to update you and let you know what's going on and that we're really excited. I am super excited. Uh, now let's just hope that on the way up there, the truck does not break down and we don't have any issues. That would be amazing if no issues happened. But anyways, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.